What's up guys, this is Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Frying Pan SL2 from Big Agnes. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some very, very high quality backpacking gear and they've been doing so for a really long time. This is it right here, Frying Pan SL2. And I just got this in the mail the other day, so I'm super excited about it. It's a brand new tent from Big Agnes. So I'm going to set it up behind me and we'll get this review started. One thing I really like about this tent so far is that Big Agnes included a ground cloth. I think this is the first one I've seen of Big Agnes that didn't, uh, that has one, so that's awesome. There's the rain fly, we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, so here's all your poles. Also has a sleeve. That's uh, just an extra, it's a repair splint. That's awesome that it comes with it. So we're gonna get this thing set up. Let's take a look. The poles snap together super easily. And what I really like about the Big Agnes pole structure is that it's all one big piece with the crossbar and the poles are color coordinated so you know how to set this thing up easily and quickly especially if it's raining so let's see we have gray and two orange so the grays will go over here the oranges will go over here the orange goes to the orange and then the gray on this one there's your setup right there that's your overall structure now we're just going to start using the clips to get everything all squared away and get this tent propped up comes with standard stakes right there so four eight stakes Round cloth all squared away. This is the last little pole. This little guy, this goes across the top. So there's a little ball cup here. That goes across that way. This little guy clips to here. So why this is important is what it does is it raises the walls more to a vertical. So it gives you more interior room uh, and more square footage inside your shelter. Um, it also increases the height because that little guy pulls up on the roof as well. So awesome really big d-shaped doors that's going to make getting in and out pretty easy one on each side so you just see the overall size of this tent is actually quite large on the inside i'll get in it and i'll get inside it in a minute and i'll show you how big it feels because i'm six foot i'm pretty slim i'm not broad shouldered or anything but you just see how well the top structure here really pulls up on the tent and pulls out on the walls those walls are almost vertical dual door setup so it's gonna have dual vestibules as well poles come down they stink right the poles come down, they sink right into these little grommets right here. Now, if you were setting this thing up as a fast fly, you would use the grommets for the ground cloth. Really breathable. This whole front section here is all mesh. That's super nice. All right, let's get the rain fly on. All right, so here's the rain fly. Imagine gray goes to gray, so I'm on the other side here. There's orange and orange. These just kind of clip in. Also color coordinated. It makes things so much easier to set up your tent, especially if it's the nighttime or if it's in the rain and you need to hurry up. You need ease. 
and Big Agnes definitely makes it easy. All right, so let's loosen these up a little bit and then we'll tighten everything down. All right, first vestibule right here. Put the second vestibule back here. And the other two we'll use for these just to kind of stick these guys out a little bit. That's our rainfly. All the seams are sealed, so that's already done. You don't have to do anything there. Let's have its tie outs. It has additional guy, uh, guy lines that are also reflective. There's four additional. Let me make this nice and taut. And then something I really like is that it also has a breathable window that you can prop up to increase ventilation. So there's your vestibule set up. Big vestibule, like you could put your backpack behind there, put your boots, some gear, full shelter, full coverage. Really gonna keep you out of harm's way, especially when the weather turns for the worst. Nice big Agnes branding right there. Here's your extra guy lines, as I said, there's one on each corner and they're reflective. And then you have your prop up window here. Or you could also lay it flat. So either which way you wanna work, that'll do. So that's pretty awesome. And there's your frying pan SL2. As I said, so once you get in, you put your shoes off to the side. You have plenty of room to lay down. As I said, I'm six foot and I have plenty of room in here. I have another probably six or seven inches at my uh, head. So I'm gonna move up a little bit. Yeah. I have plenty of room in here uh, to lay down, take a nap, obviously go to sleep for the night. I'm comfortable. I have tons of room inside here. Now for two people, uh, it would be a little cramped, but two people easily manageable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another video of the inside and uh, we'll finish up this review. All right guys, so I'm in the frying pan SL2 and I'm gonna move over to one side just so you can see how much room there's actually in here. Okay, I'm off to one side. Okay, so I'm off to one side and I have plenty enough room to be on my sleeping pad and a whole bunch of room over here for someone else to sleep next to me. My wife, uh, one of my kids. So this is a great big, big Agnes tent. Maybe that's why they call it Big Agnes. Hmm, maybe. There is a lot of room inside. Now if you look over here, there is large stretchy pockets, one on each side. There's a big pocket up here that I can put a whole bunch of stuff in. There's also little hooks right here. And over here, so I can hang a gear loft if I really want to. But I mean, overall size, I have plenty of room in here. So if I wanted this tent all for myself, I would have so much room. I could put my backpack in here. I mean, there's so many different things that I could do in here with the room that I have. So it's a great design from Big Agnes. Um, I really enjoy their tents, and usually if I'm sleeping in a tent, it's usually a Big Agnes tent. So it's nice to see something new uh, and innovative from Big Agnes, as well as uh, not only a super nice tent, but it's also nice that they started including a ground cloth, which is key. That was one of my biggest pet peeves uh, with these kind of companies, uh, you know, higher end companies that, oh, you can get the ground cloth, but that's sold separately. That's awesome that Big Agnes is including it. As for the vestibule, plenty of room, easy to get in and out of. And um, you can see I put my shoes here, but I have plenty of room. When this thing is closed, I'll get over on this side just so you can see. When this thing is closed, there's a lot of room in there. So awesome. Plenty of room to put, you know, another backpack or some wet boots or whatever. Everything is nice and Beautifully stitched together, well reinforced, nice zipper pulls, and I really enjoy it. Not like that, but you have this really big stretchy pocket upside uh, on the back wall here. 
And this thing is massive. I mean, you could put easily a couple of pieces of clothing in there. Um, you could use this hook up here to hang a light. So as I said, I'm six foot and I have about no, three inches or so uh, of headroom that I can fit inside here. So not to mention tons of shoulder room. One person, obviously tons of room. Two people, definitely enough room. And uh, it's a really great tent. So let's finish up this review. All right, guys, so that's my review and setup of the frying pan SL2 from Big Agnes. Here's Big Agnes' website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making high quality uh, backpacking gear and they've been doing so for a really long time. So not only do they make you know high quality tents and you know sleeping bags and sleeping pads stuff like that uh, hammocks just recently they also make apparel um, this is a Big Agnes Dome Peak pullover that I'm wearing so they make something for pretty much everybody so definitely want to make sure you check out Big Agnes if you guys have any questions please leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can also do please like share and subscribe really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. So thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.